So my Wi-Fi router has absolutely went bananas. All it does, it flashes the lights all day. First of all, it flashes the power light and then it flashes the whole light. So I don't see any Wi-Fi connections being made and it just goes over and over again. And I have tried different uh, power supplies and even uh, uh, turn it on with a more uh, a powerful power supply that can stand for a higher current because I thought it was probable that the power supply went bad uh, uh, but it, fortunately it didn't help so since it doesn't respond to the reset button whatsoever uh, it seems to me that this is a reset loop. So I have symptoms threads about reset loops on TP-Link devices, but uh, what I uh, think of doing is just uh, opening up and checking out the internal power supply and just to see maybe there is some obvious reason for it to uh, go bad. So. Is, do we, would we have a new networking equipment joining the family or uh, this guy would uh, live on for and serve on? Let's find out. So I'm powering it off and disconnecting the power supply. Okay. So how do I open it up? I see right away we have two screws here and let me open it up okay so open no the other screws maybe somewhere here no, I don't see any. Okay. So let's try maybe it helps on some or some clips. Yeah. opening and here we go we are inside so see here the PCB hmm. Let's see the power button some inductance a Broadcom chipset so I don't see any signs of a corrosion or dust might have been collected here try the other side no none of the capacitors seems to be leaking so what can it be mm, maybe just uh, maybe just the button Okay, so let's undo those cables, and here I have the reset button and the button so. Let me check those. So this is the body, it should be always connected, that's okay. Now for the switch itself. So 
I'll do my best together. When I click it, see a contact made. So, and this is the reset switch. And when I press it, it has zero resistance. When I release it, it has a 24 ohms resistor. Well, it does not seem very logical to me, so I'll try to uh, remove it and see if it helps, if it's just the switch or it is maybe some other circuitry onward. So here is my heat gun warm enough and it's warm already. So first I'll try to straighten the pins so it comes out easily. and it is out. Okay, so here is the switch. Ouch, it's, it's definitely hot. So let's measure it up. And it's pretty much okay. And here it is also. Maybe there was some moisture within it that the heat gun removed. So, anyway. Let's let it uh, cool down a little bit and see if it works. Oh, it's just so cool, it's heat. Maybe I'll set the 
No, I can't set it to a cold setting. Just <laughs> blow on it. Let's see what happens. Okay, let's get it in place. And I will give it some time to cool off and stop the video. So now it's uh, definitely cooler. So yeah, it's still a uh, warmish. So now let's uh, try try it out and see what it's going to be. Have we fixed it or not? Power and button time okay so all the leds lit up and now the power will start blinking so now is it just going to reset or it's going to turn on the Wi-Fi okay have a Wi-Fi led on you can see it it's kind of dim yeah I definitely now see those two LEDs and let's check if we have the Wi-Fi network and Well, I have some network. It's not the TP Link network. Oh, oh, now I see it. Here it is. It is the TP Link. Okay, so now let's uh, let's put it back together and hopefully it works for a long time. So since I haven't really used this button even once, so I don't see a point of uh, soldering it back. If uh, I would need it, I would just know to open the device and uh, figure out something. Let's put the uh, cables in place and close the cover. Okay. Are the screws set it up and see if I can keep using it thanks for watching if you have any questions please leave them in the comments